what's up gang welcome back to the channel if you are new go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber hey girl hey how you doing all right so let's go ahead and get into the products of today's video so we're going to go in with the model one's clear poly gel i always use this this clear poly gel we're going to go in with um this coffee poly gel that i got off of amazon i did use that before we're gonna go in with um, a white gel polish and a green gel polish. Um, that's it basically for the nails, but for the decoration of the nails, we're gonna go in with gold um, gems, green gems, green, um, green opals, some gold caviar beads, and I have more right here. But that's pretty much it for the set. The set is um, kind of got kind of going to be directed towards um, the zodiac sign Taurus because it is their season. So um, I decided I pulled all this out, but wasn't really thinking that hey, I'm gonna be doing a Taurus set. So yeah, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I did go ahead and apply my uh, full cover nail tip off camera and I did apply these the April dupe method this nail right here I applied like some bonding stuff and yeah <laughs> don't worry about that but anyways let's go ahead and get into this nail set hey gang it's editing Mika here and I'm just gonna go in with the pinky finger with some blooming gel all over the nail and I didn't cure it and now what I'm going to do is try to achieve the achieve a marble. So um, after I put on the blooming gel, I did go ahead and not cure it. And I am taking this brush and going into my gel polish. And I'm just going to put that like wherever I see fit this color. And then I do go in with white as well. And then what I'm going to do is take a straw and blow in the straw to move around the gel polish to make it marble. And I did get this um, this little hack for doing this from my fairy nail mother, um, Nails by Nelly. I did get this hack from her. I seen her do it in a couple of her sets. So I just decided why not give it a try. But when I did it, I don't know what happened. As you see, it just looks like nothing wants to move around. Like, I'm not sure if I didn't apply enough gel polish or I don't know what I did wrong. But it still comes out cute. Now moving on to the middle finger, I am going to go ahead and do the exact same um, steps that I did on the pinky finger. Now moving on to the ring finger, I am just going to do a solid um, nude poly gel application. I am going to be doing the two, ba two bead method, excuse me, because that does work um, best for me. So what I do is I just put some um, down the nail but not at the cuticle. I put some like at the middle of the nail and then I go ahead and like pat it out, flatten it out. And then I make sure that it's going from like edge to edge and then I smooth everything out.
So for my pinky and my index finger, I am going to just go ahead and do an ombre. So I'm just taking a small cuticle uh, bead and I'm just going to go ahead and um, ombre that out. So now with the marble nails, I do need to go ahead and encapsulate those and build up the tip <laughs> and build up the tips. So I am gonna go in with the model one's clear poly gel and um, go ahead and do that. This poly gel for for some reason this day, the poly gel was not moving how it was supposed to move. It was very sticky. It was just not gliding how it needed to glide like it normally do for me, but we still made it work. So we are going to go ahead and encapsulate the um, the middle finger and we are going to go ahead and encapsulate the pinky finger. This is how the nails are looking before they are shaped, fouled, and buffed. And this is how the nails are looking after they are shaped, fouled, and buffed. I did go ahead and do that off camera only because I knew it was going to take me a while and I don't really do anything special. So yeah, I did go ahead and do that off camera. So um, now I am going to go ahead and apply my, um, my gems or you know my rhinestones. So um, again. This set, I I just pulled out the colors. I didn't really know that these colors were for Tauruses, but I did go ahead and pull out the colors that I wanted to use. So we're using Golden Green, which you've seen in the very first clip of the products that we're using for today's video. Um, I did go ahead and apply a um, juicy layer of top coat to put on my gems. I didn't go in with my McCart nail rhinestone glue or you know anything like that. I'm just going in strictly with top coat, not cured, and then place my gems and then I go ahead and cure it for uh, 60 seconds.
Now for the ring finger, I did have to go in with the McCart rhinestone glue because I did go ahead and add this gold Taurus symbol gem whatever it is don't know i did go ahead and add this onto um, my ring finger so i did have to use the mccart rhinestone glue so after i applied the gems and the taurus um and the taurus name i did go ahead and flash cure that um in the lamp for um about 30 seconds i think i went in about 10 10 seconds or something maybe <laughs> Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and um, do some cuticle bling for the pinky, um, I think it was for the pinky, for the middle finger as well. I think I just stuck to the pinky. I've done this set a while ago and I'm just now getting to the voiceover so that's why I'm like a little unfamiliar with what I did so I do apologize you guys. Okay, I just wanted to correct myself. I did only just go in with the cuticles on the pinky. We did the Taurus on the um, ring finger. Um, what you guys did not see was the middle finger. I did some um, gem placement on the middle finger. And we just kept the thumb playing. Um, I did just marble the thumb. You know, you guys seen that. But I didn't do any gems or anything like that for the thumb. Um, off camera, I also did pierce the pinky nail. And I also did pierce the middle uh, the middle uh, the middle finger as well but now I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle oil you guys I'm gonna go ahead and rub that in really really good to go ahead and nourish my cuticles and then um, yeah you guys will see the finished set and if you guys made it this far I really appreciate it I really appreciate you guys tuning into you know my videos I really appreciate you checking out my channel um, if you are new go ahead and hit the subscribe bell <laughs> go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more content like this but other than that this is the set guys I really like this set like I did not want to take this set off I liked my little green dangly charm to go with the set I liked my gold loop on my pinky like I really like this set y'all if there's any Tauruses this set is for you honey like this is a birthday set for real like I loved it I liked how the marble came out it was my first time doing the straw marble I liked how that came out the gems were just blinging and blinging everywhere like it just really about something about this set just really like just mm, it did it for me honey but anyways y'all um i gotta go so i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys i don't have to say it twice bye my loves